Are you sick and tired of having to go from one place to another to find stone, to find wood, to craft Ingnok, to get Paldemon fragments, to get the most coveted thing, which is ore and coil to make the Ingnox and the fragment Ingnox? Well, today I have the best location where you can get all of this only in one spot. In addition to that, I'm going to give you guys the most optimal way to actually build this base so you don't have to go anywhere else to get the most prime possession, which is the stuff that's going to be huge when it comes for you to leveling up and getting your stuff done in, of course, Pal World. If you like Khaled Cell, let's dive right into it. So this is the base, guys. This is what my base looks like. And as you guys see here, we have the rock, which is going to give you ore. We have the, uh, the rocks that are going to give you coil. We have the trees that give you wood. We have a base that we could build a foundation to grab rocks and we could set up a mill to make sure we get the blue uh, ore as well. So how do you set this up and where is this located? Well, I'm going to show you guys right now. It's going to be located at 188 at negative 37. So it's going to be located right here on the map. And this is the location. Now, I would suggest you get to this location as quickly as you possibly can. Due to the fact that you're going to want to start creating this, you know, crafting this high end material as quickly as you can. So you won't get stuck when you hit level 20 and so on when this material becomes a hot commodity. So let's talk about optimal builds and the main character that makes this happen. And that is this character right here called the Dick Toys. Now, do you need this character? No, you just need someone that's able to just his main job is uh, mining. But the great thing is that this guy's a level three. So the good thing about that is you could theoretically come and get this started with a regular standard character that just does mining and is not that high level of mining. But and then, you know, work your way to pick this one up. Now, there is a way to actually get him for, you know, without having to pretty much grab a, a, um, a sphere and throw it at him. And I'm going to show you in the map where that location is. Uh, so you guys know exactly if you guys need to uh, try to get it. Now, there is a vendor that's located in this area right here that sells them okay so you can theoretically just check every day and see so you're able to buy them off him or you can check out the secret vendor which i'll have a video on how to actually just farm the secret vendor uh if you want to check out that video as well that way you pick them up without having to throw a sphere now if you don't have that time to wait you can just go ahead go to your pal deck and i'm going to show you guys exactly where he's located he's located right here in the map and this theoretically where i picked them up and the great thing is you can just kind of fly around this area and because it is a hot zone, fly around the area and like and like on the on the green belt and then just, you know, see if there's anyone there and just try to, you know, get him to low health and then pick him up and you guys should be too good. The reason why we like him is once again, he's a level three and he's really good at mining. The only thing, guys, is he likes to eat a lot. And now I'm going to tell you guys how I set this up to be like a perfect base. So in order for you guys to build here, you need to build a two by two. So basically uh, two sets of the... Uh, of the wood uh, foundation here so you want to have four of these so you could set this up or else it's not going to let you set up the uh the pal box now once you set the pal box you're going to want to have at least uh nine characters here so you're going to need to have nine beds like i have here so i have a couple beds here and then i have some beds here now the reason why i went ahead and built this right here is because this helps mining and it increases the effectiveness of the mining so if you don't have this you don't need it but it does help out a lot this helps off, of course, with the crafting, and this helps with the fire, which is going to let you do the Ignok. What I did set up as well, I set up a two berry farms right here, so my characters can start farming uh, and planting berries to be able to, uh, you know, feed these into the berry pots. We also created a pool so people could, you know, won't lose sanity, and we created this so they could go ahead and make sure and increase the planting. So this building right here increases the planting. I'll show you guys right now on the wheel where those are at. And last but not least, guys, we created this, guys, which is the furnace that's going to help us make our Ignok. So, like, if I want to make some Ignok or I need to make some of this, I could just go here, maximize He's going to make 162. And this bird is going to come and throw the fire in there. Now, he's a level 3, so look how fast he does his, He does each and every one of them, which is really fast. Now, the next thing we set up on this side, guys, was a couple berry baskets. And they eat a lot, so that's why we set up a couple of these berry baskets. And we also set up these little sauna or hot springs here, uh, two of them, so they could just go instantly and get cooled. And I also set up another um, uh, basket right here, 
while they're farming the ore. So this is a really good spot because you're able to do everything. Now, if you wanted to farm stone, like for example, reason you know you you don't have a base where it's, uh, you're farming stone, you can easily build a stone patch, which is going to look like this, and build one of these the stone pit, and place the stone pit anywhere in this vicinity, and you will be able to start farming uh, stone. And if you need to farm um, in this same spot, if you also need to get these guys right here, which is the palamon fragments, you could actually just set up a mill, which stone turns into a palamon fragments and harvest it that way because all the characters will be able to do all that. So what characters do we have? So we have this guy right here, which is going to be our miner and the person that picks up stuff to bring to the base. And he also plants, which is why I like him a lot. We have a uh, pinglet, which is going to be able to throw water at the planting station and he's going to be able to bring stuff to us we have this guy which is a pink king you don't need pink king but i do like him because he's a level two waterer guy level two minder and level two carrier which is really good and then we have lift monk which is pretty much our person that we have for planting uh harvesting wood and uh once again uh picking up the uh you know the stuff the uh the food and taking it to the basket and then we have once again planting and food now these two are not optimal i could theoretically find someone else that does a better job at planting does a better job this is just so you guys can get your base started but the main guy you really want to get is this guy so you come to this location you set this up and then you will have a very optimal base now the thing i said earlier that you want to do is you want to make sure that you have these items in play because that's going to make your life just a little bit easier on them being able to get this stuff done faster, okay? So setting this guy up, this is going to pretty much give you the handwork speed uh, if you need to build stuff. Because, you know, whenever you're building this base, you're going to need that. We put this one up as well, which is going to make you uh, make the fire go faster. We put the, the silo as well, which is going to make you plant faster. And then we put the pickaxe and helmet which is going to make mining go a little bit quicker here. Now, this area is not a hot area, so you don't need a cooling stone. But as you guys see, it's really effective. Now, this is uh, set up, and so far, look what I have, guys. We have on coil, we're pretty low, but I'm pretty sure there's some here on the floor I could just kind of go pick up real quick uh, that you know my, my workers haven't gone. So look at this. I'll just walk through all of this right here, pick up all this coil, all right? Uh, 54 coil, and there is more coil right here. And it's probably going to get super duper heavy for me right here. So I'm just going to drop it right here and go do that. Now, theoretically, we, the, the bird that we have, he's uh, when he's not on fire duty, he's going to be in charge of picking everything up. So we can just come back and drop the coil. And there's more coil over there. So it's just unlimited amounts of coil, unlimited amounts of wood, a limited amount of ore. You know, and that just pretty much helps you out so much, especially in the end game. Because that's going to be extremely important for you guys to be able to level up your stuff as quickly as you possibly can. And you see right there, I already have over 100. And in wood, we're, we're almost pretty much maxed out in wood. This is pretty crazy. Um, and that is pretty much what you guys need to actually get this set up, man. It's just a really good spot. And I think it's by far the best spot. Now, if you have another spot that's better than this, that does everything, let me know in the comment section down below. Because I haven't found out. It's like this spot. Is the one that I found that does every single thing. It does coil, it does ore, it does, uh, you know, wood, it does um, stone, it does, it does everything. It just does everything. So as you see right here, you guys, this is completely set up. We're gonna do drop this here. Actually, you know what we're gonna do is we're gonna pick up this. Uh, we're gonna take these these because we don't need these anymore. Uh, we're gonna take those so he can come in and uh, just pretty much drop off the uh, the remaining stuff right here. Uh, so he can come and drop off these inox that he. He's uh, he's completed, and we can just store him in there. So as you see right here, he's at 42 already, and that is completely set up. And then you're set to go. I personally think this is the best spot, but like I said, if you guys have a better spot, let me know. Now, if you guys want to know how to get Dignock and other really rare uh, pals without having to shoot a gun, definitely check out my video on how to actually get the secret vendor to go to your base and how to make him reset every single time to get unlimited awesome pals. I hope you guys are finding these videos helpful and informative. You are doing a huge favor, guys. Drop a comment, drop a like. But most importantly, subscribe to the channel, turn on those notifications so you guys won't miss when our videos go live. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll catch you guys on the next one.